okay, I'm here. What set her off? I don't know. What's going on? Zoe was uh, stationed at a base in South Carolina. It's okay. Some of her group heard rumors about some um, training centers. Tra training for what? After DC fell, they pulled together a bootleg raid. Some high school in Rockdale. I found her and like 50 other women hidden inside. <laughs> Their kids had been taken away. So we uh, caught her out. She was the only one. Those guards at the school were not gonna let those women go. You think they were um, looking for fertile women? Gathering them up. Go. Oh, makes me feel physically sick. Two in a row! <laughs> Did I just hear it? Wait. Hey, hey! Sorry about that, he's friendly. Come here, hey! Sit. I wasn't expecting to see anybody out here. Boy, are you out? You're supposed to be in hiding. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quiet out here, huh? Hi there, I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. All right, you folks have a good day. Thank you. We gotta go. He's gonna grass them up. Why are they out though? What the hell are they doing? They're a bunch of fucking amateurs. Uh, Walt hey, Walter, will you just <laughs> shut the fuck up here, man? Okay, yeah. Have it your way. But they're amateurs. Oh, are we heading north? That's where Canada is. Oh. No, no, I, got, I gotta get, I gotta get out. I gotta, I gotta head back to Boston. You were shot. There are soldiers everywhere. No, I just stopped. Stop the bus! You'll get caught before you hit Massachusetts. Stop the fucking bus now! I'm getting out here. You're not getting out. Dude, I'm we're getting out. Of here. Sit down. Uh, I'm all for going to get her, Luke, but you cannot, like, you're not going to be able to do anything like this. Get yourself better, get her. We're going to the coast. You can maybe grab a scoop boat down to Marblehead. Plan. I really like these people. They seem a lot more kind of ready to, to do battle than Luke and June. Oh, he is messed up. I would be going out of my mind. We'll forgive me again. It's just in case. Okay? Jesus, do you know how to use it? Oh, uh, yeah, a little. I know how to load it. Look, we need to be ready, all right, June? It's just in case. Then show me how to load it. Come on. All right, take a bullet out of there. And then a fire's gonna fall. Okay, so just open it here. Yeah, put it in. Close it. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. Hold up. I'm a friend. Don't move. Don't move. Easy, easy. You guys are from Boston. I heard on my scanner. They're looking for you. They know your car. You gotta stay off the main road. Should we wait for Whitford here? I don't know. There's no sense in that. He's dead. They caught him. They hung him up from a street lamp in town. He's a strange guy. I liked him. Look, can you put the gun down? Oh, I don't know what to do. I called a friend, so if you guys can make it past Jack, then he's going to meet you at the border. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. This is pretty fucked up. Understatement. Oh god, I'm so stressed out. You tell me in the comment section what you'd be doing at this point. Really interested to know what your tactics would be. Would you be going to Canada? Would you be bunkering down? What would you do? May the Lord guide your steps. 
and bring you to your June and your Hannah. He has not forgotten any of you. I love her now. Thank you. If you're ever in Boston, you'll look me up. <laughs> Let me show you something. What, though? A town fought back. They tried to hide the fertile women in here. <sighs> Guardians took them and strung everyone else oh. up. Oh my god! What am I gonna say? In oh. every town. This is what they do to people who fight back. Come on. It's the only thing I could do. The US government has people in Canada. They can help you find them, maybe even get them out. No. No. I'm not. If you go back, you're gonna die. You're gonna die and leave them all on their own. Is that what you want? I, I'm, I'm with her. Uh, that was graphic, but oh, oh lord. He's coming. Smart. I wasted a whole prayer on you. One of my good ones. Let's go. We're here at Gilead starting to patrol with drones. It's gonna be fast, just straight up the coast of New Brunswick. It's okay. All aboard. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I paid for five, not six. Who's huh? not coming? We're all coming, we're all coming. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. This is morphine. It's Percocet. It's all right, start. What else you got in there? Don't be a motherfucker. Hey, sorry, sorry. This is free enterprise. Oh, yeah. That'll do. Come on, let's go! Oh, no! no, no, no. They'd run out of coffee. Hey, 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 I'm not in charge of rationing. They got the power back on in the apartment. See? This is nice, right? Uh, yeah, um, Miss Tapping. Oh, Rachel, please. Hi. Ava, could you get us some coffee? Please, come. Luke. Do you know a woman named June Osborne? She's 31, blonde hair, blue eyes, from Boston. Yes, yeah, my wife. This is for you. So the message? Where did you get this? One of our contacts in the Mexican government, from one of their trade delegates. Sorry, it's not more. I think they only had a few seconds. When? Three weeks ago. So she's alive? We believe so. Yes. <gasps> Sorry, can I have a moment? Save Hannah. 
Is a little bit watery after the end of that episode it was really interesting to give us a completely different view on what's been happening you know not only in terms of the time that we were watching but the locations and also the characters you know we've only really seen a little bit of Luke in the odd flashback so it was good to see more of his journey literally i think i think what makes this show so frustrating to watch and also so brilliant is that it is extremely realistic and you've got these two people who have lived kind of academic -y, fairly middle class kind of comfortable lives so they're not just suddenly going to turn into amazing underground renegades overnight when fear the walking dead first started it really frustrated some people because no they didn't know how to exist in a zombie world yet so they didn't know that people weren't ill they were still trying to talk to zombies and bring them back and it was hugely annoying because you were just like shouting at the screen it's a zombie like shooting the head so that's kind of how i was feeling a bit here looking back on luke and june trying to escape to canada with with little hannah who by the way is like the cutest child in the world but yeah, it's just, you know, they're quibbling about getting in a boot. They're out playing in, in the middle of the forest, shouting their heads off, laughing, which is just bonkers. You know, they're, they're in extreme peril. I have to say that was incredibly brave writing that they made that quite so, so true, but enormously frustrating to watch. And all the way through, it's like, who do you trust? Who do you trust? I might have shot that guy in the woods, if I'm honest. That may have happened had I been there. I think I would be at this point adopting a, a blitzkrieg sort of approach to the situation. You never know until you're in it, but that was terrifying. And he's just showing up, he's telling me which way. I, I'm not sure I would have trusted him. I think the conclusion was that he was actually trying to help. But they've made me so suspicious I don't trust anybody now, particularly men with guns. And the hung people in the church, you know, Luke manages to get his shit kicked out of him by actual uh, radicals and they patch him up, they give him some proper medical attention. I love the nun. Well, that group gets all shot up anyway, but not before they've got Luke on the boat, ready to go to Canada. He's seen what happens to people who resist in the United States without some serious coordination. You know, all those people hung up in the church. I'm even before that point, I think I was shouting at Luke back when they were in the bus to say, you cannot go off half cock here if you're gonna actually save your wife and daughter you've got to stop you've got to get well you've got to plan it no heroic half measures please i was really glad that they managed to talk him down and get him to do that three years however <laughs> i'm gonna need some explanation about the three years what has he been doing in this three years that's quite a lot of time i was thinking a couple of months you know and come back but i'm sure we'll see more of his story and understand why that wasn't possible luke is looking a lot hardier in the th now like in the three years in the future it's also given us a proper time scale now so june has been offered for around three years it's been about three years that 
you know, the Guardians took over and it became Gilead. So we have our confirmation that Luke is alive. The Mexican trade delegation guy came through. He got the note to Luke as he had promised. That's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. I also hope this means that the end of Offer to Nick now, please. I'm, I, I don't know why I dislike them so much. I think it's because I just don't trust Nick. I don't trust him. So let's stop with that shenanigans now. Please, Offred. Luke's going to come in clutch, I believe. It was a good episode. I think it was that mid-episode between the part of the story now and probably moving into the finale. You know, it's gearing us up. So lots of you know, putting, just putting of things in place, which I really like. I like it when shows take the time to do that. I don't have to be jumping off my seat every five minutes with a program. I like them to give me the backstory, let me know what's going on, let me know what's driving characters' motivations. And sometimes you need to slow down to do that. So that was really, really good. And again, just to see another phase of this decline into fascism of the United States was amazing absolutely amazing ah so that's all i've got to say for now i'm really looking forward to episode eight i'm really excited about where the show is going to take us as we move into the final three episodes the home straight so until the next time bye bye